Okay, blessings, guys. Um, Alafia, which means peace in Yoruba. This is Yanni, the only luckologist. I'm in Georgia right now. Most likely by the time you get this video, we'll be back in Jersey. Um, so I don't know when I'll be posting this. Um, so I want to talk about DIY videos or how YouTube can be dangerous for folks. So as always, disclaimer, if what I'm saying do not apply to you, just move on, okay? Watch it for entertainment, but don't watch the video at all, okay? No negative comments. If I see it, I'm, and before it's even posted, I see it, I delete the comment, and you are going to be blocked. As always, I post these videos to educate people, to help them during their luck journey so they don't make the same mistakes. So I have this Queen N sitting in my chair. Um, she's been growing her locks for, I think, three or four years, sis. Yes. Right, three years, right? And when she came, the second she took her hair out, I noticed, I see you're interlocking your hair. And she said, yes, yeah, she does it herself. So this is what I will say. A lot of you, yes, you guys know interlocking is one of the techniques I use. And if you're new, for the people who still ask me about techniques, I will say it, I said it a million times before, I'll say it a million and one times again. I promote no techniques. They are all bad for your hair. And I'm about to explain why I always say that, right? If a technique is done too often, too tight, or incorrectly, you are going to damage your hair eventually, okay? Yes, I know there are people doing their own hair for years, and their hair still looks amazing. That is luck of the draw. You are lucky, okay? Um, and I always say that's like a, a person who can eat whatever they want and remain skinny. But there are people that eat like one slice of bread, and the next morning they wake up with a double chin, okay? That is life, all right? So anywho, so this sister went on YouTube and she decided she's going to interlock her hair. First of all, the second I touched her, even actually before I even touched it, I knew she interlocked. She's been doing it way too tight. Not only too tight, she was doing it way too often. Now, interlocking, when you go on YouTube, you guys will hear somebody say, well, interlocking is east, west, north, south, get the four points. And that makes absolutely no sense unless your lock is a perfect square. That's the only way you can get a perfect east, west, north, south. I have clients who locks are not squares, right? It was just started like that. It looks like circle. It looks oblong. It looks oval. It looks all different shapes. As you can see, the base of her locks are not perfect squares. So where's the east, west, north, south? Interlocking is not a move of the hand, it's a move of the body. Meaning the person who is interlocking, like me, I have to move around each lock so I can get the points properly so it could be meshed. When you're interlocking, you do not have eyes behind your head. So there are times where, I'm, while Jimmy was detoxing, I was telling her everything I knew she was already doing. I said, most likely you learn interlocking off of YouTube. And she was like, yes, I did. And they did your DIY, right? And most likely, because you won't see behind your head, you interlock some of your locks together. So you had to pop them apart, right? And just for after this video, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna post um, if you guys haven't seen it, if you go back, you would see it. Pictures of other clients who have interlocked where when I part their hair like this, this is where you will see scalp. That's where I made it neat. Above, you will not see scalp. I will tell clients, when you come to me and I open up your hair like this, I should not be seeing this. I want to see new growth. She was interlocking so tight and so often, she popped her new growth out. Because at some point, she may have been obsessed with neatness. I don't care what technique you use. Without new growth, you have no locks, right? This obsession you or the person who is doing your hair have with locks, with, with neatness, what eventually happens as your hair grows, it grows skinnier and skinnier, and then you just lose them. Do you mind if I tilt you back? So this is what's happening now. See how thin this lock is? It's extremely thin. That's because for three years, she's been doing her DIY, seeing it? Here's another one, okay? Last three months I came here and met this sister who was also a DIY. If you go on my Facebook page, you guys will see a blog on that. It's under Yanni the Lockologist, where I don't do sister locks at all. When people call and they have sister locks, they're like, no, I'm sorry, I can't take you as a client. This young lady did not tell me she had micro locks and she did it herself. I came close almost 10 times turning this young lady away. And she begged, she's like, Yanni, please do it. And I actually had to join her locks together. Again, if you go on my Facebook page and go down a little bit, you guys will see that post with the girl with the micro locks, right? These DIY videos you guys are doing, you have to be mindful. Yes, the person you, the person you are following or subscribing to that did it themselves, 
they were lucky enough where it looked amazing on them. That is a gamble you do not want to take. It's like I told a young lady just now, I said, when you want your taxes done, who do you go to? Well, those who don't do TurboTax. I don't do TurboTax. I go to a tax person. When we want the car fix, my husband goes to a mechanic, all right? There's a reason why you go to professionals to do these things instead of doing them yourselves, all right? So many of you YouTube, um, follow YouTube that you, you, you fr you, it, you're not realizing that, as I said, it, it would look good on that person, right? They were lucky where it, it works out for them. You may not be that lucky, okay? So please be mindful of the things you, I'm opening it up to show you how skinny they are. See how thin these are? Look at this. And I wish you guys could feel it. This is extremely tight. There's absolutely no new growth between this. After this video, I'm going to post the difference with other clients I've done. In fact, when she came, she was lucky enough to overlap with one of my regular clients who, when I started her locks, her locks would have been maybe three inches long. It's down her back. And she was like, wow, her locks are so thick and luscious. I said, notice you're not even seeing the interlock pattern. The only time you see it is in the root, right? That's why you will never see me post. I know some people have been cussed out or people are like, oh, she talked too much. I've heard it all before. At this point, it doesn't even face me anymore, all right? But you will never see me post a tutorial video on how to do it because, <laughs> one, YouTube, social media, period, people feel the need to follow everything they see. And that is where you're going to end up in shit because <laughs> it was not for you. You dig what I'm saying? And this is not just with locks. This is with a lot of things that you guys just, I can understand if you're doing a DIY video where you want to paint your own house or you want to do a, um, some sort of art and craft design in your bedroom or something. That I will do. But if it comes to something very serious where I know if I mess this up, I'm going to lose, I'm going to end up hurting myself, losing money. You're thinking, like she said, she thought she was saving money. And I'm like, yeah, okay, yes, you did save money by doing it yourself, but you're here. It's extremely thin. It's extremely fragile because she has very soft hair. Look at that. No new growth. None whatsoever. These luxes are... Him yeah, luxes. I'm sorry, guys. No, it's, that's not a real word. These luxes are at least half an inch or less away from each other. And that's not how lux is supposed to look. Please, if you're not on my Facebook page, head over there and you guys will see. I post a lot of pictures. I hardly post completely finished pictures. Most of my pictures always show a cut. I like to post pictures with clients so they can see healthy and be below, healthy full head of hair below, on, I mean on top, sorry, and locked here below. Just to wrap this up, be mindful of what you're posting, oh, sorry, on what you're following on YouTube. Do not follow everything. For those of you that support what I'm teaching you or helping you do, and you notice your locks are being damaged, just this trip alone, we had two young ladies who was interlocking their own hair, and their hair was actually worse than hers. I just showed her the pictures. One young lady, the entire front was gone. Okay? Please be mindful on what you are following. Just not all information is for you. All right? Um, we will be back in Jersey working in on March the 1st through the 31st. Stay tuned. I'm going to post the dates on that. I am not taking Jersey bookings right now. So please do not call me and leave. You can call, but please do not leave any voicemail. So don't call because you can't leave a voicemail. Okay. I will start taking bookings for Jersey. I think, um, if I'm not too sure, I think the date is February the 23rd. I will start taking new bookings for Jersey on February the 23rd. I am not taking it right now. All right, so please, again, do not leave any voicemails. Thank you for watching. Thank you guys for your love and support. Bless. So, like as I said before, I promote no techniques. This part of the video is to show what healthy interlock looks like. I am not promoting interlock. I can't stress that enough. Okay, unlike the girl um, that I posted in the video earlier on, as you can see, my clients where in the areas where their hair is not done, you see a full head of healthy hair. The only time you're seeing their scalp is after I've interlocked. No matter what technique you use, this is what you're trying to achieve. Before your hair is done, you should have a full head of healthy hair. The only time scalp should be shown 
is after it's done and it still should not be done too tight as you can see no interlocking pattern is showing in any of these locks the only time you see the interlock is in the root of the hair and that's how it should look be careful with do-it-yourself videos if you know you can do it yourself find a professional that can do it for you if you are pulling out your new growth your locks are going to get thinner and thinner and thinner remember without new growth there are no locks that's why so many people have thin locks and they're frustrated and they cut their locks off okay so i hope this video helps everyone that is dealing with this problem remember i will only be working at my new jersey location from march the 1st through the 31st my contact information will be in the caption area thank you be blessed